The Ides of McCarran, Understanding the Federal United States. July 13, 2020 by Anna Von Reitz. As my readers will know and remember, in the confusion of the aftermath of the direct hostilities of the Civil War, a Scottish commercial corporation doing business as the United States of America, Incorporated, was organized in 1868 and used to usurp upon our lawful government of states and people. It used similar names deceit to access our credit and in debt our assets. By 1898 it was apparent that the fraud scheme had, at least in that form, run its course. The Scottish pirates did a number of things in preparation for their bankruptcy in 1906-07 one of which was to buy the Philippine Islands and remove our gold reserves to the Philippines for safekeeping. In another series of steps, they fronted the Insular Tariff Cases, a series of Supreme Court decisions that took place between 1900 and 1905, seeking to create a land basis for the federal United States to claim its own separate sovereignty. So what, you may ask, is the federal United States? And how is that different from the United States? Or the United States? The federal United States as was the franchise structure that the Scottish Interloper Corporation formed in 1868 and its state of state franchises that substituted British territorial business entities for our American states of states, the Cuckoo Bird Maneuver explained in more detail in the recent article State, State Trust, State of State, created and operated between 1868 to 1906 when it went bankrupt. Before they went bankrupt, however, the Scottish pikers rammed through the insular tariff cases, and changes in the Immigration and Naturalization Act of 1790 to create federal United States land and soil interests on the islands of Puerto Rico, Guam, and Virgin Islands. This is how they established a safe pirate base for the agents of the Internal Revenue Service to bill and bilk all of us under conditions of semantic deceit and color of law. People born in Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Virgin Islands were from then on accorded federal United States citizenship just like those born in the territorial states of states, with one significant difference, though still owned as possessions by the United States proper, these U.S. citizens had land and soil interests and could qualify as separate sovereign states and together with the territorial states of states like the state of Illinois, make up a new, different version of United States. Just as Mr. Obama had guts enough to admit on national TV, this version of United States has 57 states, including the insular states and the possessions. It exists as an overlayment of foreign corporations doing business as state of state organizations and the insular states and possessions, which give it its only solid ground. The rest of the states and possessions were added to the separate federal United States in 1952, by the McCarran-Walter Act, a.k.a. Immigration and Nationality Act of 1952, which reworked Title VIII U.S.C. 12 and resulted in Public Law 82-414. Ever since December 24, 1952, all the people born on the land and soil of the insular states and possessions acquire the same British territorial US citizenship as everyone else adopting this political status. None of this has anything to do with us. We just need to be aware of it and separating ourselves from it. The federal United States is all about our federal employees and the federally administered insular states and possessions which were bought and paid for using our money or which voluntarily entered the protection of the United States prior to all this god-awful chicanery. So, the federal United States is a separate country occupied by our British territorial employees, most of whom are in the U.S. military or dependents thereof. Our version of United States, the United States, is still here, as the 50 actual and factual, physically and geographically defined soil jurisdiction states of the Union. And the United States of America, our unincorporated federation of states still controls the international land and sea jurisdiction, but make no mistake, our misdirected employees in the federal United States have been usurping against us in violation of their oaths and service contracts. And so have the municipal United States subcontractors, who used the municipality of Washington, D.C., as their pirate base for the IRS, Inc. Very soon now, unless I miss my guess, another U.S. Congressional Act bearing the name McCarran will be invoked, the McCarran Internal Security Act, Public Law 81-831, for them. A great many municipal citizens of the United States will be rounded up and brought before U.S. military tribunals at Gitmo and elsewhere, and used as the public scapegoats for this travesty.
And it is all true, these municipal citizens of the United States absolutely have usurped against and conspired against the lawful government of this country. They have evaded their obligations under the constitutions and conspired against them. They have stolen trillions upon trillions of dollars worth of goods and services from Americans and others around the world. They've orchestrated a hundred years of mercenary wars and conflicts in our names. Yes, it's all true, what will be leveled against them. But the men who are trying them for these crimes are guilty themselves of the same sins exactly, and truth be told, the territorial U.S. citizens went off the rails four decades prior to the municipal government, which was merely following suit. So the guilty will be sentencing the guilty and it will be a huge sideshow event, but unless we all wake up, and reboot the actual civilian government that this country is owed, it will be all for naught. Just more crazy stuff, more fraud, more lives lost, more money spent in our names. What needs to happen, folks, is for you to do your public duty. Get up off your rumps and self-govern. Give these employees the direction that they need. Stand up and be the bosses, as you are supposed to be. Kick off the autopilot. No matter what happens to or in the federal United States, you have a date with destiny and an appointment with yourselves to understand who you truly are, Americans. Stand up and roar. Go to www.theamericanstatesassembly.net and get started today. Links to Anna's articles and resources can be found in the video description box. Thank you for subscribing, liking and sharing. If you enjoy having Anna's latest articles made into videos, please consider making a purchase from Ed's website sacredintuitiveelements.com. Thank you.